Let's get right to Larry Spruill at the scene on Anglin Street. Larry. Well, Devin and Kimberly, right now, police are focusing on these two homes just across the street. One of those homes is boarded up. Police still here on scene as well. Now, both DPD and the Michigan Humane Society are investigating this case. Right now, we are the only local TV station right here on the scene. Now, let's take a look at some new video just into our newsroom. Now, take a look at the new video just to our newsroom. You can see officers removing boxes of evidence from inside these homes. Police tell us they got several tips about dogs fighting going on inside the two homes. One appears to be boarded up. Now, earlier this afternoon, both Detroit police and the Michigan Humane Society raided both of the homes to find several large dogs, both inside and outside of the home. They could not go into details as far as what kind of dogs they found because they say this is all a part of the investigation. But I did speak with the lead officer here on the scene about what they found inside the two homes. Uh, so we're going to have multiple amount of dogs, uh, you know, generally chained up in the backyard, large tow chains, um, specific size dogs, uh, you know, sp specific breed of dog as well. Um, additionally, there's, there's going to be other uh, you know, types of evidence as far as working those dogs to get them conditioned to fight. Now, police did also tell us that they did not, the owner of the homes was not home at that time, but they do have a great idea as far as who is responsible for this dog fighting ring. We are live on Detroit's east side tonight. Larry Spruill, Local 4.